want to get rid of because my buddy know I my buddy knows that I do um I, I invest in mobile homes. So he said, Hey, my buddy has a free home. Um, here's the listing on marketplace. So he gave me the direct contact number to talk to the guy. But the listing is still up, so I'm assuming nobody has really just beat down on it, and I don't want to buy anything that's a dud. But at the same time, just by the looks of it, I know it's something that I can get in there, clean up, and repost and fix. I may be um, self-sabotaging myself with thinking too much, but I just wanted to get you guys' opinion and see if you think yeah. it's something that's doable. Yeah, I mean, I already heard a red flag in there. It's been up for free. And ain't nobody moved on it. So some, you know, either somebody, either somebody didn't do the research extensively to figure out what's going on, or there's going to be something that you're going to figure out that everybody else figured out. That's why I think mm. it's probably been up a while because you, you have not a ton, but there are mobile home wholesalers out there. I think modular, not as many people deal in because they don't know how to deal in it. So it could be just nobody knew what to do with it. Um, and as on as long as you do the contract the right way and leave it where you could walk away if it doesn't sell within the 60 you know or 45 days you're good I mean you, you don't really have anything to lose other than a little bit of time and if anything you'll learn about a new niche that you, you could end up taking advantage of sure, sure. thing heck yeah well I yeah, sure I do appreciate you guys' uh, input and I will I think I'll go ahead and do the appointment thursday and go from there and i will hopefully on the next meeting let you guys know yeah i mean what's the worst that's gonna happen man i mean shoot yeah know? exactly just a little bit of time and a little bit of gas you know so. yeah, man you get out man get outside man take massive action get outside yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir and and um make sure you join the family all right we, i just dropped yes, sir, I sure that's our school you know go ahead and get in there that way you know you can ask time you can ask questions in real time with us you know we get right back to you as soon as possible um angel what's going on what's going on brad how you doing good to hear from you what's up what what money we done made this month girl been a little dry man been a little dry but we gonna press on any her and okay. what's yeah. in the pipeline uh, in the pipeline, I do have um, a two bed, two bath that I'm trying to get the VIN on. It's on the father's land. It was his daughter's um, home, but she hasn't lived it in in seven years. She's lost the title. Um, the data plate, when I got the VIN off of that to take it to DMV, they um, they didn't, they couldn't find that VIN and they couldn't find a trailer under her name. Um, so I have been working with Danielle to um, try to use the data plate to figure it out. Um, and also she gave me another reference to try to um, figure out what that VIN is. Um, so working on trying to get a VIN every time I'm running into stuff that deals with the, the title. Yeah, you got that. That's why we say it's very important when you're dealing with wholesaling to double check about the taxes and double check and make sure the ownership and everything is in the correct order before you sit up there and get yourself in a frenzy. Yeah, that's definitely. But I believe in you. You got it. Uh, just keep following the steps and keep running it down. Because remember, you make the money when you solve the problem. So this is a problem that that's they have to get solved. Any they're gonna have to get this solved anyway, with you or without you. So you okay. might be the one to solve it and then make your money off of it, you know? So true. And what else in the pipeline? Um, That's that's the main thing for right now. Main thing okay. for right now. So how um, did you get this lead right here? How did you get this lead? The famous bandit signs. Okay. Have you been doubling down on your uh, on your bandit signs? I have. I haven't I've been putting more bandit signs out than um than, than normal so okay um, where where strategically where are they closer to the uh, my, or are they further out they're, they're close to the um mobile home parks and um i get a lot of hits when i put them in um shopping centers mm -hmm. so i i drive to different towns and look up the shopping centers and make sure i put it in that uh the shopping center yeah 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 <laughs> No, I'm loving it. So, how, what's what's your daily uh 
put out rate for signs? Like how often are you putting out signs daily, weekly, monthly? Um, I try to, I don't get it daily, but I try to put out, my goal is at least 10 a week. Um, so eventually I want to step it up to try to get to 20 a week. Um, so right now it's 10 a week. Yeah. Um, let, let's 10 X that let's do 10 a day. We, we need to be doing 10 a day. <laughs> So you can okay, go, no, I'm gotcha. serious. So you could, so you no, can and, I, and I receive it. I, I'm you laughing, but I'm the lead flow. You know, if, I'm if saying, I feel dry, you. We gotta, we gotta take it to the next level. I feel you. Yeah, yes, me, me, I'm putting out ten a day. If I'm going out to eat with the family or just going to the grocery store or doing anything like yeah. that, man, hey, I will I stop and stop trying to get out that car, and I will put it yeah. out there. This, this, yeah, this, this I've what gotten that. I've started getting that mindset, yeah. like where I'm driving, I just. When I see a spot, I put it. So I'm getting there. Definitely. You know what I like? There's that guy who um, had T-shirts made that say, I buy mobile homes. I like, That's another. I haven't tried it myself. Um, but I know a couple people who copied that and said, like, they go grocery shopping and people hit them up. Yeah, I, I have a um, few people I know that do that as well. So agreed, agreed. Thanks, Danny. Good to see you. You too. Glad to hear you're still killing it. Sometimes you get slow months, but it'll pick up. Yeah, I, I'm not discouraged. Oh, There's a lot, I, a lot going on lately. You know, yeah, it's a lot going on. Yeah, true that. How's every, was everything okay for you, Danny, in Florida? Yeah, we made out okay. Didn't lose power for too long and just lost some trees and fences and everything. So we we didn't get it as bad as, as you all did. How how did you do? Well, so I'm central and so it kind of it went to the west of me. So okay. yeah, so nothing nothing um bad our way at all. So grateful. Totally grateful. That's good. I was worried about everyone in here because I know we got so many South Carolina, North Carolina people. Nice. Angel, yeah, double, 10, 10, 10, 10 exit, all right? 10 I feel exit. you, brother, and I receive it. Because even if you do five a day, now you don't be, reach your 20, 20, you know, your 20 piece goal. Like, come on. Right. You know? Right. Right. You're right. And I ain't going right. to tell you something that I ain't doing, you know? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I told you the gem I received from your last, I was feeling that. I was like 10,000 flyers. Yeah, that's what sticks in my head. Ten thousand flights. Yep, that's why to this day, if I if I go anywhere to this day, people can still sit up there and say, "Bro, I remember coming to one of your parties when I was younger." Why? Because I talked to any and everybody, any and everybody, because any and everybody knows somebody who got something to do with a mobile home. Anybody, any and everybody got something to do with uh, know somebody that has something to do with wanting to go to one of them parties. You know, right? It all makes sense, man. People are your way to the next step. You have to get into in, in in the phone with other people. Um, Tamisha, what's up? We ain't heard from you. How you doing? I'm ready to hear how, how the uh band of signs going for you. Hi. What's up? I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, I filled out my band of signs today. I have not put them out, but I do have. Wah, I just, wah, wah. Um, are you on? Come on. We need you. We need you to knock these deals out. Let's go. But you got it done though, right? You got it wrote out? Yeah, I just told you. You didn't see it. Let me see. Yeah, they gonna hit. I'm telling you, they gonna hit. They gonna hit. Good job. And how many of them you got done right now? Two. Okay. Uh, how many you plan on having done by the time you finish cooking that food? I only have two, so I'm going to do what I have, and I'll pick up a couple of more probably tomorrow. Okay. Where are you going to strategically place those two to get the most return? So that's what I've been thinking about. There is a family dollar, um, and then there's a dollar general. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put one in a family dollar and one in a um, honestly, the family, the family dollar or the dollar general is great. You, you choose that one. 
find somewhere where they get so where they get over 10, 20,000 cars to ride by a day. I'm telling you, that's when it be hitting. When you find like like me, I, you know me, I got somewhere up here on on uh, on Wade Hampton. On Wade Hampton. I, I I got I got like two of them on Wade Hampton. I know it's over 50,000 cars a day. I know it. I know it. And that thing hit every day. So outside of the um outside of the mobile home parks and outside of the Dollar Generals, like uh Miss Ruffin said, and um somewhere on a major highway, but not too major. Even if it's a major highway, then it's the road that a lot of people is going to that mobile home park. It's kind of people I am. Go, go say that again. I was saying it's one not far from my job where people go to get on the highway, and it's a lot of workers that come that way in the morning. It's like a kind of a main road. It's a school, uh, preschool right there as well. Okay. So. Yeah, so. man. Go ahead and get those things out, and then double down by the end of the week. Grab some more, finish them up, and put them out. We yes. definitely believe in you. You got it. Any questions you got right now? No, I just got to keep my mind straight. Stay focused. Hey, I swear that's the, everybody want to know what's the magic trick. That's the magic trick, y'all. Keep your ass focused. It's harder to stay focused than unfocused. Tracy, what's up? Good to see you in here. What's up, girl? <laughs> You want to jump off mute? I'm I'm just talking. I said, look at my picture back there. Yeah. Okay. You got your Zoom <laughs> set up. Yeah. I I'm good. How you doing? Doing good. Okay. You got that thing braided back. Oh yeah. No, I'm locking my hair. Oh, for so real? I'm, I'm cheating a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you get it. That's how you get it to lock right there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. You Didn't know, I know here. a little bit about it. I know a little right? bit. Little yeah. Bit. I'm trying to like go past the ugly phase. Oh, with man. Some, don't some, about that, man. Some two braids. <laughs> the dread them, the dread them, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited about it. <laughs> so what's been up with you, man? What's what you got in the pipeline? Oh man, I got a couple things going on. Um, got a double wide, I got a single wide right now. I got a I got a bunch of them in the pipeline. You know, those that um, I know will be coming through in the next couple months, um, which is pretty good because it's going to be the holidays. And so usually the holidays are kind of slow. So hopefully these pipeline deals will, you know, kind of keep me afloat with like having deals. And, you know, I market, market, market. Like today I was out putting out bandit signs near the cotton fields. You know, if you're in the cotton how field many, area, you're the best. Are you putting out a day? Oh, I'm, I don't put them out every day, but every week I'm putting out at least 25 to maybe 35 bandit signs. Come on. That's where the volume coming from. Yeah. Volume come from right there. You taking massive action. Yeah. Massive action. Good 35 piece a week. 35. How many weeks in a year? Somebody asked me, what, 56? 52. 52? 52. Mm -hmm. Do the math. Do the math. 35 times 52. You putting out 1,800 signs in a year. You know, mm -hmm. it on. don't even feel like that when you know uh, you just putting them out every week, yeah. And I keep them many, in the car. How many deals you might do out of out of a hundred signs, you know? You yeah, start understanding your math, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I keep them in the car, so anytime I see like a spot, then I'll hop out and put it out, and you know, get back in the car. So I always have them. I be on ready. That's good. That's good. Any deals yeah. closed this last <laughs> month? <laughs> You know what? I didn't close any in September. I closed three in August, none in September. So hopefully I'll get these these couple ones I have now closed this month, which I think I'm really close. And um, yeah, so we'll go from there. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's cool. Just keep it down. Just keep uh, keep the lead flow coming in because uh, you'll be feeling like, oh, well, I don't get a deal every month. Well, it don't work like that. You it know? don't work like that. You got you to yeah. turn it up. You got to turn it up another notch when, when you get a dry month. You got to turn it up 10 times because 
um, what they call it, it's like the uh, bullwhip effect. That's what they call it, the bullwhip effect. What you do uh, a month prior is it, what you did a month prior to September is what got you September. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, it's the bull with Yep. Me. I don't even trip anymore. So the first first like dry month, like early in the year, I was panicking. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and then I just like I mean, I started marketing like crazy. And then I mean, the deals just come. So I don't panic anymore, but I did. Yeah, I mean, it, it Yeah. just we all got to get over with, and even when with people who haven't done a deal yet, it's just come down to all the action you put in last month is what why, why it looked like what it is this month. That's it. But no, nah, it's good to hear your voice. It's good to see you on here. Good to see Likewise, you find a copy Brad. and get some locks. I see you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'll lock them. Yeah. Um, admins, do we got anything we need to announce right now? Um, anything you guys want to say or uh say say to the uh to everybody on here? Uh, not I for don't. me. I think everybody's killing it. Um, I'm really impressed. You guys are getting out there, you know. And even if you're not, you have plans to, and that's what matters. It doesn't matter if you didn't do anything last month, as long as you wake up tomorrow and and go for it, you're good. Love it. What about you, Miss Ruffin? And just to add, just remember, success likes speed. Don't drag this stuff out. Get it. Get in. Make it happen. Um, I think Marcus fell off. But I was going to say about Marcus's situation, he fell off. But <clears throat> go ahead and schedule your open house. Once you get that thing locked up, schedule that open house. Let's get it. Get your buyer, get it moving, get your your movers and all that good stuff. So just a reminder, success like speed. Don't drag it out. If you have an opportunity and you go look at a home and you get all your information, you've done your due diligence, lock it up and get it sold that week. Schedule your open house and get it done. So that's all I got. Yeah, y'all. And um, just turn it up a notch, man. Um, sometimes we think we're doing enough. We're not we're not doing nothing at all. Compared to the people who's having success, we're not doing nothing at all. We're doing a fourth of what they're doing. And so if you want to try to get to their level, to where you're able to scream out your success story or be able to get your first deal or get your fifth or tenth deal, or you were able to get deals on, 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 on a good flow, you got to do the work. Just do the work and educate yourself. Um, I, I find... I find reading, reading real, you know, reading books and educating yourself and putting yourself out there and um and 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 and, and over over overdoing what you think. So even if you write down a goal, like re go back and write rewrite back over the goal ten times more than what you even thought it was. Your brain at first gonna be like, oh no, nah, you can't do that. I promise you, you can do it because there's other people who doing it. There's other people who do it. And if you can do it, if they can do it, you can do it. It's as simple as that. It just come down to your mindset. It come down to your mindset. My mindset is I'm going to do 10 times what I've been thinking. You, you, If your goal to make $10,000 a month, you, be, you should be striving for $100,000 a month. If your goal to make $100,000 a month, you should be striving for a million dollars a month. If your goal a million dollars a month, you should be striving for $10 million a month. Because the bigger you think, the more you get to uh, think about all the how to problem solve when those things will come up. I mean, imagine right now if every single one of y'all was doing 10 times the deals than what you're doing right now. Like Tracy, she had three deals in one month. Imagine if she had 30 deals. How do how different do she got to think? You know, she probably over there right now. Like, Shh, I don't even know what I do. But you got to figure that out because figuring that figuring out how to do 30 deals a month. Is what's go what's on the other side on why you're not doing the 30 deals a month, you know? But yeah, guys, uh, you know, I'll preach it deaf up in here. But uh, I just wanted to get that pass that energy on to y'all, man. Pass that energy on to y'all so y'all can get get to it, man. Get I swear ain't nobody coming to save y'all. I'm not coming over there to pass out to, to, to drop out y'all uh y'all bandit signs and pass out your flyers and do your posts on social media. I'm not doing that. Cause I'm doing it for me 
But I'm telling you what it takes to happen. Nobody's going to save you. Nobody's going to come over there and just give you a million dollars. Nobody's going to come over there and pay your rent. Nobody's going to come over there and pay for your new tires you need for your car, your oil change. Nobody's going to pay for your mortgage for you. You got to do that. And the way you got to do that is by putting in the work. Put the work in. All right? So the work can work for you. And always be thinking about how, you know, how you can turn the business into a machine. I swear, when it turns into a machine, you work on it. Then you work on yourself. But until you turn it into a machine, you got to be thinking about how do I turn this thing into a machine now before it gets out of control? Before the, the before a bottleneck come into the business and break. What happens if I have to talk to 300 people to, in a month? What happens if I got to talk to 100 people a day? What are you going to do? Got to figure that stuff out, you know? Yeah, well, with that being said, it looked like we kind of ran through everybody's um, situation. If you're not inside the group, go ahead and jump in the group. Um, everybody in the community, don't forget to drop your wins. Don't forget to drop your don't forget to drop even your losses. Don't forget to drop your questions, your problems, anything. Just drop it into the community so we all can live and learn through it. And um, usually we go for about an hour, but man, I think we hit the main the main topic today. Man, just double up, triple up, quadruple double up, double up, double up. Do more. <laughs> That's right. And then if you if you really want to know what you what you spending your time on, get you a piece of paper and write out what you do every fifteen minutes. You you're gonna be pissed off at yourself <laughs> after about the first three four days just to seeing what you do every fifteen minutes. You're going to be like, yo, I'm doing nothing with my life. I am doing nothing. I am wasting time. And once you're able to realize that for yourself, then you can make those adjustments. So that's my takeaway. Do 10 times more than what you're thinking and then get an understanding on what you're actually doing every single day. Every 15 minutes. It sounds crazy. It's like, yo, you want, me to, you want me to write down what I'm doing? Put a time on for every 15 minutes and write what you did that last 15 minutes. Watch you, watch you find out who you really are. <laughs> you're gonna be like, yo, I watch so much YouTube. You're gonna and, and you ain't even watching nothing that, that you can implement. You watching funny shit. You know what I'm saying? So just double down, y'all. Let's get to it this year. Every one of y'all can make this money. You don't see people come in here and they make good money. You make good money if you stay on top of your game. Stay on top of your game. Don't fall off your pivot. Don't forget to hit the gym so you can so you can so you can let go of some of the stress that comes from being an entrepreneur in this. Don't don't stop. If anybody believes in you, I do for sure. So with that being said, everybody, I appreciate you all jumping in tonight. It was, to me, I felt like this was a very successful call. We got to hear some different things. Hell, I don't know really too much about the modular. I'm, I'm ready to hear what Marcus says when he come back. Hell, I might text me a, um, I might text me a mover or two and see what they would quote me on the modular pool just to see what what, what that looks like. Cause I, I mean, me per, I never ran into a modular, so you know. And now at least I know if if, if I can figure out what that looked like, then we already know what to do when the next time. We're here to help each other. All right. All right, y'all. Well, y'all take it easy. Tamisha, keep whipping up in the kitchen. We ready? Make sure you post on Instagram what you end up cooking. I want to see what you end up cooking. Keisha, yeah, just get in the classroom. You, me and Danny, me and Danny got a whole hour long video about keyhole in there. You can sit up there and watch the whole thing. You're gonna love it. Um, and Tracy, it's good to see you in here. Um, we definitely love you. We want you to keep everything locked and loaded over there. Keep the deals coming in. And um, Miss Hicks, we glad you all right. We glad uh, Milton ain't take you off the map. And uh, Miss Ruffin, once again, you know, couldn't do it without you. I appreciate you. So with that being said, guys, we're going to get up out of here. And um, everybody, invite a friend or family member to join the family in the community. The link is uh, inside is inside the chat. I had dropped it. And then um, if you need the link, you know, you can hit up Miss Ruffin, me or Miss Hicks. We'll get them in there. All right. Call it a Thank day. You. Have All a right, good night.
Bye-bye.